What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. Hopefully, it's over for you and the weekend has started. We have Christmas right around the corner, just three days away. Coming up fast. Hopefully, you got all your Christmas gifts sorted out. Everything is wrapped. The tree is set and you are ready to go because Monday pretty big day for a lot of the kiddos around there i know that i know i used to love christmas i couldn't sleep the night before i always waited for the santa to get there you know i would always try to stay up but I'm tell you like one o'clock two o'clock hits that was it lights out i woke up ran down the stairs to get to those christmas gifts but you know as you get older we don't really care if that too much for christmas right gifts are gifts i'm not really a big gift person let me just tell you this quick story I don't really need anything, right? If I want something, I buy it. Do I like gifts? Yeah, I like gifts. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like I don't like when people buy me things. If that makes sense. I don't know. I'm weird. Call it what you want to call it. It is what it is. But in this video, we got to talk about Anthony Pompliano, Mr. Thud himself, Brad Garlinghouse. We got some predictions coming from David Schwartz. AMM on XRP Ledger, an amazing article came out this morning. Solana, meme coin frenzy, why the price is pumping, how I think it's going to end. Well, I shouldn't say how I think it's going to end, how I know it's going to end. And then we got a utility boom that is coming. Not my words, words of Ripple. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The markets, they're, they're meh, meh, you know, nothing crazy. Bitcoin, $43,672. It's currently down about 1% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at $2,298. It's down 1.65%. It is nice to see USDT went back to its dollar peg. USDC still at 99 cents. USDC is moving more than XRP. 99 cents today. Yesterday it was a dollar too. I mean, look at the chart. That's a stable coin that should be pegged to the dollar. Get all the way up. To a dollar two doesn't make sense, but I'm telling you, it has more movement right now. Three, four cent movement we're seeing. XRP, we kind of just need to flick it a little bit, give it a little poke, right? XRP still coming in at the number six spot, 62 cents. It's currently up 0.04% in the past 24 hours. If you look at this chart, that is a roller coaster I don't want to be on. There are too many ups and downs. I like my roller coasters that go fast and furious. I don't like the ups and downs. I'm not a big fan. Solana. Number five spot. We're going to jump into that, folks. Don't you worry about it. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $1.67 trillion. Now, today, the almighty king and queen are coming out. Here you go. You can see the queen, the king. Those aren't the actual images. Those are just thumbnails. These don't last. We have people that come over to the community just to buy them. If you're able to get your hands on them, good luck. I have a feeling about... Four seconds is usually it takes. As soon as I update the pages and put them back in stock, they are gone. But if you are looking to get part of the largest NFT project on the XRP Ledger, now's your time. Get yourself a mob. Get yourself a holiday line. Even get yourself a holiday potion so you can go into the lab and you can start breeding yourself. Do not miss out. I keep throwing the warning out there, but it's coming. Something big is coming. XRP Anders, we, we covered this this morning. I'm not going over it again, but he talked about three years ago how the SEC sued Ripple. We talked about this guy right here, the one and only Anthony Papliano. Remember, he had Bradley Garlinghouse on his little podcast. He got the most ratings, most reviews ever, and he put toilet paper above Brad's head. I'll never forget it. I know you guys won't forget it. Signaling that Ripple and XRP is a piece of crap, right? You know what? It's funny because as he did all this and was saying all this, Guess who is buying XRP? Take a guess. The man you're looking at. Yeah. What do you think he knows? If this guy's buying XRP, I'm bullish. I am. I mean, I've always been bullish, but I'm even more bullish. I have a feeling Mr. Pomp knows something that we don't know. That's why he's stacking on up. Brad Gallinghouse, he goes, stunning hypocrisy from the person who closed up the biggest fraud in recent memory. Gensler is a political liabilities whose actions has decimated consumers and destroyed the integrity of the SEC while remaining buddy-buddy with Wall Street. Listen to Gary. I hope this doesn't get you sick. There's a lot of non-compliance, non-compliance with the securities laws that are there to help 
give you the disclosure so you can make the investment decision, but also to protect you against fraud and manipulation. And there's been far too much fraud and, and bad actors in the crypto field. There's a lot of non-compliance, not only with the securities laws, but other laws around anti-money laundering and protecting the public. This is really the Wild West, and it's around the globe. I would, I would say again, this is a small part of our U.S. capital markets, but it can undermine confidence when so many people have been hurt, and all they can do is then stand in line at a bankruptcy court. And, and it's not just one actor, and it's not just, oh, it's just a few bad actors over here. This is something that pervades a lot of this uh, field globally. And it's hard for the good faith actors even to compete because there's so many challenges elsewhere. Oh, Gary, 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 you little manipulator, you little scammer, you little corrupt politician. Your time's coming to an end. Mark my words now on predictions. David Schwartz was on Masari Crypto. Remember, Masari Crypto hated Ripple. They hated the coin XRP. Within the past year, you've seen them do a complete flip. Let's tune in here. Listen to this clip clip about predictions, because I like predictions. Head. Where are we in this journey? I have not been in this space quite as long as you, David, or many others. I have been paying attention, you know, for a few years, uh, maybe three years now, where I've really been into this. So... I don't think I've really been through a full cycle on that sense. Like, I don't, I don't think I was there for the beginning of the last bowl. So I, I maybe have a limited perspective. For, but from that limited perspective, it's, it's way past the question of, you know, will crypto survive? Is it coming back? It feels inevitable at this point. It's a matter of time. Uh, it, it's been legitimized, uh, you know, on a regulation level, on a tech level. And I, I, I think it's, it's inevitable at this point. So I think that's where we are. It's... Kind of, you know, I'd like more bear market, a little bit more time to learn and build <laughs> and get stuff out. You know, things get noisy when things turn around there. And what was your second question there? Yeah, bear markets are also a great time to hire uh, <laughs> and build a team and so on. So my second question is, is there a well, well, the second part of the question is what you're excited about, about what lays ahead that we haven't talked about? What I'm excited about. I'm excited about Bitcoin programmability. That one really fires me up. It's so fun. Uh, the laser eyes will hate me for calling it a good <laughs> thing, but I love it. It's it's so fun. And then I love the... Listen, I don't want the bear market to continue. I'll tell you, I'm ready for it to come to an end, and it is coming to an end. Over the past decade, we know approaching the Bitcoin happening that we will see a bull cycle. And it comes out of nowhere. It absolutely comes out of nowhere. Automated market makers on the XRP Ledger research reveals that the XRP Ledger AMMs leveraging harvest and market volatility outperforms Uniswap and slippage and impairment loss reduction, pace of price synchronization and overall operational efficiency. We knew about, we knew this, we knew this was coming. The XRP Ledger is far superior to any other, I don't want to say market maker, software, DLT out there. Uniswap, we know about slippage. Have you ever used another chain, especially a token that you're trying to bridge that doesn't have a lot of volume or utility? The slippage rates are insane. Automated market maker, it's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Remember that. Solana. And I just read something. Solana printed like 500 new coins today. The Solana nears $100 as meme coin frenzy to, continues to drive rally. Solana applications grew in tandem, rising to $1.3 billion worth of tokens from the $400 million mark in November. That's insane. And I'll tell you right now, the reason Solana is pumping is because people are just blowing up and launching all these crazy meme coins. And you know what's going to happen? Well... What happens with a meme coin? It goes away. People stop. They stop putting out memes. There's no real utility or use case. It's just a community. Well, it comes to some point where the community is like, all right, I'm over this. You get sick and tired of doing things, right? And be like, all right, well, here's the meme coin. 
We're not going any further. So what's going to happen? Well, the meme coins are going to all blow. People are going to stop buying them. The meme coin frenzy comes to an end. Solana is going to pop. It's going to go back down. It can enjoy its little journey up here. It's just not going to make it. I just don't want to see people get wrecked because I see it so many times. And I hate when it happens because people put their hard-earned money into these things thinking that they're going to find the next doge out there. You know, you're better off probably playing the lottery, to be honest with you. 2024 predictions by Mr. Barry himself, head of payment products. He calls it utility boom in 2024. We expect that funding will rebound with a renewed focus on companies solving real world problems and not centered purely around infrastructure. We're going beyond this and focus on the utility behind the tech. There's recently been a major resurgence in payments with cryptos, democratizations of finance front and center. While many have previously focused on the speculative, users are now moving back to the tired and true baseline and use case, which is payments. Closing in on traditional fintech, 2023 saw increased interest in crypto from fintech companies. And according to Ripple's 2023 new value report, three-fourths of financial institutions are likely to explore digital asset services in the next three years, especially for cross-border payments. Stable coins denominate outside of the U.S. It states, while USD-backed stable coins have largely been leaders in the markets year to date, according to Chainalysis research, the majority of stable coin inflows to the 50 biggest cryptocurrency services have shifted from U.S. licensed services to... Uh, where am I? I shifted from U.S. licensed services to non-U.S. licensed services since spring of 2023. In 2024, we will see stablecoins from non-G7 currencies take off, creating a new entry point and gateway to crypto, providing exposure to currencies from consumers and allowing them to pay people and move money in real time. Ripple has been building with a lot of different central banks around the world. I believe we have five to six announced. I believe there's still another four that haven't been announced, and there's still another 20 that they are talking with. Central bank digital currencies on the XRP ledger are going to be the key and the bridge to all of the money. It's that simple. 2024, 2025 are going to be absolutely amazing years. I can't wait. We are so close. I know you can feel it. I can feel it, folks. Hang in there. We're getting there. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.